Former attorney Jenna Ellis pleaded guilty to a felony charge of aiding and abetting false statements and writings. She's one of 18 people charged in the case involving accusations to overturn Georgia's results in the 2020 election. Two other attorneys have also pleaded guilty. Thank you, Your Honor, for the opportunity to address the court. As an attorney who is also a Christian, I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously, and I endeavor to be a person of sound moral and ethical character in all of my dealings. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information, especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. I look back on this whole experience with deep remorse. For those failures of mine, Your Honor, I have taken responsibility already before the Colorado Bar who censured me, and I now take responsibility before this court and apologize to the people of Georgia. Thank you. Ms. Ellis, I have a few uh, questions that I have to go over with you. Do you understand the nature of this charge that as it's been reaccused against you? I do. And you heard the rights that you would waive by going forward with this plea. Do you still wish to waive those rights? Yes. And are you pleading guilty today because you agree that there is a factual basis as outlined by the state to support this guilty plea? I do. Well, I find that there is a sufficient factual basis for the charges, and I find that this plea of guilty is knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently entered. Welcome back to Wildcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the third Trump lawyer in Georgia to flip against him in the RICO prosecution that's going on over there by Fannie Willis's office. So uh, Miss Valley Girl Christian herself, Jenna Ellis, just testified in front of the judge, or not testified, but pled guilty in front of the judge and gave a statement, which you saw in the beginning with her tears. Now, I can't tell if the tears are real or not. They may be because she might genuinely be scared, uh, being a very inexperienced litigator and all. Uh, she got mixed up in this, I think. She's not the most culpable person, but she does have direct evidence against Giuliani, which she will present at trial if Giuliani doesn't take a plea. So in my last video, which I made about less than a day ago, 22 hours ago from when I'm recording this, I told you guys to keep an eye on Jenna Ellis because I knew that it would be Jenna Ellis, John Eastman, or Giuliani who flips next, okay? More people are going to plead guilty in this case. Watch for Jenna Ellis, Rudy Giuliani, and John Eastman. They they have no choice, really, after Sidney Powell flipped and Chesbro flipped. All those people are going to be forced to take plea deals as well, unless they're really, really stupid, okay, and don't care about going to prison. They are literally risking five years in prison, which is the mandatory minimum sentence for Rico charges if they don't take a plea from the prosecutors. So because they're the ones who have most to lose now that Kenneth Chesbrough and Sidney Powell have pled guilty. OK, so Sidney Powell had direct evidence against um, Giuliani and Jenna Ellis. If she testified at their trials, they would have been found guilty. That's why Jenna Ellis had no choice but to take a plea. Also, she's not the worst person in this enterprise. So the prosecutors will be willing to give her a good deal. She was the least culpable uh, from this group of lawyers. OK, Sidney Powell and uh, Giuliani were the worst uh, about pushing these lies and trying to overturn the election. Jenna Ellis is the least culpable. Uh, nevertheless, the next person we should be looking out for is Giuliani. Now, Giuliani is still making money from pushing the MAGA line or MAGA line. So I don't know if she'll actually flip against Trump. He might actually go to prison to save this guy. And, and he thinks he'll win at trial. He always, all these MAGA people always think they're going to win and they end up losing. They haven't won anything. Okay, I cover their losses all the time on my channel. They suck at the law. They don't know the law. They don't know anything. They don't know anything about America and they end up losing at court. And I don't know about humanitarian of the year, Vince, but if you think you should be jackass of the year, give me a hell yeah. He's ruining this. 
as Donald Trump lost over 63 lawsuits. Okay, so uh, this Jenna Ellis got five thousand dollars in restitution that she has to make five years probation and uh, also 100 hours of community service and an apology letter to the citizens of Georgia, which has already been written by her and truthful testimony at hearings or trials of co-defendants and no communication with co-defendants or the media until all cases have been received. So same similar thing to Kenneth Chesbro, right? And uh, like I said, she has direct inculpatory evidence that's incriminating evidence against Rudy Giuliani because she was in the room and she went with him uh, in multiple states, at least in Georgia and Arizona, I believe. They went to the state legislature and tried to, not tried to, did lie, okay, did lie to the state legislators, telling them that there was massive fraud. And she knows, she will be able to tell the jury that 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 she was never shown any uh, compelling evidence of massive fraud. She just trusted the word of these senior lawyers like Sidney Powell and Giuliani. As she said in her crying apology uh, apology to the judge, she trusted people that she should not have, which might be true. She's she's really, really dim, okay? No insult to her, she just is, okay? She's not a quick thinker, from what I can tell. And uh, she was just going along the motions. I actually do believe that. I don't think she was she had any nefarious intent. She seems like a very simple person, okay? that's that. I guess you can take that as an insult, but not necessarily. She's a very trusting person, it seems like, a naive person and she uh, believed these lies. And now she's actually saying that she should have never represented Trump. So that's good because there are a lot of people who are like, I, I still stand by it. I think he won. Now, given the fact that Jenna Ellis has publicly distanced herself from Trump by calling him a selfish liar or something, I'll put up the exact quote on the screen right now, but she's distanced herself from Trump. So this wasn't the most amazing prediction on my part. Uh, it was clear there's there's no reason for her to go to trial and risk five years in prison. So I was pretty certain that she would be one of the people who comes out next with a plea. There's no reason for her to stay on the case. She's the least culpable lawyer there. She was not the one running the lies, okay, and claiming to have all kinds of evidence. She was just egging the, uh, she was not egging, but she was um, amplifying what other people were saying, Sidney Powell and Giuliani specifically, but she was not the worst criminal mastermind behind this, uh, these election lies. And I think all of us can admit that she's the least culpable. Okay. Sidney Powell and Giuliani and John Eastman are the most culpable and Kenneth Chesbrough as well. But obviously both of them, uh, Sidney Powell and Kenneth Chesbrough have taken pleas already. They pled guilty, which means they admit that they did it and they're going to testify against the other defendants. They've done the right thing. Okay. Uh, and so it now is up to John Eastman and Giuliani, two of the most dug in Trump supporting idiots of all time. So we don't know uh, what they're going to do. I can't predict. OK, but those are the two people that are going to be incriminated if Jenna Ellis also, Kenneth Chesbrough and uh, Sidney Powell testify. John Eastman is going to be incriminated by um, by the testimony of Kenneth Chesbrough. And Rudy Giuliani is directly going to be incriminated by the testimony of Jenna Ellis now and also Sidney Powell. So he has no choice but to take a plea from the prosecutors if he doesn't want to face prison, basically. That's what Giuliani has coming to him if he goes to trial. There's no way he's going to win. And so if he's a smart guy who actually remembers anything that he learned in law school and afterward, then he will take a plea from Fannie Willis's office and promise to testify against Donald Trump and the other remaining defendants. That's what he would do if he's a smart person, Giuliani. But that, you know, he's never been that smart, uh, given his uh, conduct and his uh, decision to ally himself with Donald Trump. So we'll see what he does. OK, so watch for John Eastman and Giuliani. They will be the next dominoes to fall if they're smart. And that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video, as always. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.